everyone do you remember this particular lady you do oh well then you're younger than you look we're talking of course about the spectacular supermodel of the 1960s the one and only twiggy hi good morning neil sean here in the very heart of london thanks for your company today i don't when you look at pictures like that is it just me but they become iconic aren't they you know there are pictures that just lock in your mind and they're forever young Twiggy, otherwise known as Leslie Hornby to many people, is of course a supermodel icon that's been around now, as she often says, quite some time. Do you know, I've got to tell you a funny story though. I bumped into Twiggy late last year on the London Underground alongside her super acting husband, Lee Lawson. And uh, you know, it's strange, isn't it? You just bump into people and she said, hello, how are you? You know, we had met before, obviously. Seen her at many opening nights and stuff like that. Very talented lady, Twiggy. And also one of the nicest celebrities is very down to earth. Interesting though with Twiggy herself, she told me that uh, she never actually liked the iconic pixie cut. It was something that she said somebody did and she thought, oh well, you know, you're young, you just go along with it. Had she known, of course, that it was going to become so iconic and make her worldwide famous, she may have done something what they call today is branding. But as ever back then, we didn't know. Twig is still in action. I just wanted to share this with you. She has become the brand ambassador for a super makeup line, which is worldwide called Charlotte Tilbury. I've met Charlotte. She's a very, very clever business lady. Incredibly, incredibly shrewd. Knows exactly how to market and sell her makeup brand to all those wonderful ladies around the world who simply want to look their best. I know we'll be shot down for using the word ladies now, won't we? But Twiggy herself still marches on. As I say, she's the brand ambassador. She has her own clothing line for Marks and Spencers over here and still looks at acting and other opportunities to appear as herself or indeed as an actress. For those that don't know the story, she was, of course, discovered, became the face of swinging 60s. And as she herself said, she was a whirlwind of international jets, foreign travel, and of course, just simply a wonderful time. Twiggy herself though then marched out to be herself by appearing on Broadway in The Boyfriend and of course I don't know if you remember this but when I was at school I think Twiggy was a bit embarrassed when I mentioned this she did make a record and an album the single was called Here I Go Again great track she appeared on top of the pops but also I remember and this is what's strange isn't it it was also in conjunction with her marketing a moped that's right she had her own brand of moped little motorcycle for those that don't know what a moped is in other parts of the world so as ever she's always been on top of things marketing things and keeping the brand of twiggy well and truly alive if you get a chance do read her autobiography it is fascinating it takes you back to a time of what really went on in carnaby street but more importantly i think for twiggy herself she's just thrilled as ever still to be back in the limelight and more importantly as relevant as ever Twiggy, definitely, from the 1960s and Carnaby Street and all those super things from Swinging London, we salute you. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.